Hello everyone, this is your resident TI reject, our Dota tech support and whatever. I am JJ or Pimhuckle and I found something. I went all the way down to the rabbit hole, gone full Sherlock Holmes style and well, it's a crazy issue. Found some crazy stuff and let's get on with it. So first of all, let's talk about some uh, some background because I was benchmarking OBS and XSplit to see which of these programs is really fast or maybe not so fast, right? And I got some values which make no sense. So basically, these values should be swapped. Because on this very fast preset, we're really working on our CPU. On the super fast one, we're not doing it quite as much. So Dota should have less issues on the right side than on the left side, but we have less FPS. And I was like, what? What's happening? And I verified this like a few times, and it just made no sense. So I went back to my old data. I made a video, maybe you remember that, uh, about like DirectX and OpenGL and Vulkan and Windows and Ubuntu and whatever. And very clearly, there is a drop in performance. The more runs we do, you know, one, two, three, four, five, the less FPS we got. Significantly. I actually did the math on this. It is significantly less FPS. And I was like, what the hell is happening? And I went into my 4K uh, 4K benchmarks, and they were fine. They were perfectly fine, actually. Look at this, 75, 75 FPS. No problem at all. And I went to the Vulcan ones. No, looks great. You know, this is there is no drop at all. I was like, what? There's actually nine, no drop at all as well. What's, what's, what's happening? But here, I found something else. I found OpenGL. And this is where the drop was happening again. And I was very confused because I didn't really look at the at the values and understood it at the time. And maybe it was an AMD thing, right? I mean, AMD's drivers sometimes pretty spooky. But then I looked into my old data with the GTX 1080, and again, we're dropping FPS significantly once again. This is Ubuntu, so Ubuntu is dropping FPS. Windows is dropping FPS. I was verifying. Yes, Windows is also dropping FPS on the GTX 1080. Like what? So what I did was, being very confused at first, of course, I just took the benchmark I was running, and I can show you like a very short scene of this. I took this benchmark, and I ran the sequence a lot of times. And then I restarted Dota, and I ran the sequence again, and again, and again. So this is what I got. The first run was well above 135 FPS, 137, right? And that second run already dropped down to below 130. Then it went downhill, it went down, and down, and down. So this is when I was stopping pretty much, run 8, right? And I w went out to make dinner, and I left Dota open, and I went back, and I benchmarked again. And this is when we had 130 FPS. So we're actually losing 20 FPS from running a few benchmarks, going to dinner, and going back to gaming. What? So I took it to Twitter, right? And uh, Max of S2D, he provided me some benchmarks. And, well, I mean, there's this outlier, whatever, it's fine. Uh, but this looks perfectly normal and perfectly fine, right? There is nothing going down, really. Maybe a slight trend, but nothing significant. And I was questioning myself again, like, maybe it's just my PC. And I'm building another PC right here, you can see it. And this one had the same exact thing which I was observing. More runs, less FPS. And uh, Ben sent me some info on Twitter once again, and yes, again, we are having performance issues. The more runs we do, the more time we are in the game, the less FPS we have. But how deep does it go? And Short is an absolute madman. He started on run 1 down to run 180. That's crazy in itself. But he started at around 150 FPS, and he ended on below 60. So you're losing more than half of your FPS if you run the game for a long time. Like, what's happening? And something was definitely off, and people were reporting this left and right, you know? You play like a two-hour game and suddenly everything is just like crappy and stuff, it's just not fun at all. Um, and that's really bad. So we can see a very clear trend. We're dropping down from 150 FPS all the way down to below 60, and that is unacceptable. And that is on a very high-end CPU, on a very high-end GPU from Hjort, 
Now imagine you don't have that. Imagine you're playing on like 30 FPS all the time. Then you're going to drop down to 15. You're going to drop down to 10. And that's ridiculous, right? It just, this can't happen. Everyone's playing the game. Everyone's loving the game. Everyone's playing the game for a long time. And it's just really bad. And Valve has been showing us that they've been really on point with the performance updates. Two performance updates in like, what, the last week or something? Great work on Valve. But this, this has to be fixed. It doesn't matter if you start with 34 or maybe 2 FPS more, right? Because if you drop down half of your FPS after a game or two, that is really, really, really bad. That is actually unacceptable. So that is my plea from me to you. We as community should Valve know that this is happening and we should provide them a lot of data. Get it to Reddit, get it to Twitter, put it in the comment below. I don't know where it's the best place to do so. Maybe on the dev forums, but let Valve know the more you do this, the less FPS you get. The more you play, the less FPS. You know, do benchmarks, use time demo. Anything really, get good data, get evidence. We have to make Valve see this. We have to make Valve fix this. They clearly want to fix performance issues in Dota, and this is really important. We cannot have a game where you cannot game for two hours straight without dropping half of your FPS. That is unacceptable. And I really, really, really hope we can go to Valve and have them fix this. That is my plea from me to you. Hopefully we can do it. Well, with that being said, that's the video. Hopefully, you, you know, maybe, maybe you're, gonna, you're gonna work on this as well together. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Maybe not a pleasant you know, topic, but at least it's informal. Um, and uh, it, should be, it should be pretty interesting going forward to see what happens next. With that being said, Pimp signing off. Bye, guys.